Agriculture Department said today it will investigate allegations of animal abuse at a California slaughterhouse. Undercover video shot by the Humane Society captured some horrifying images. Nancy Cordes has the story and the video, which we should caution you is upsetting. The undercover video shows sickened cows too weak to walk. Being jabbed with forklift blades, kicked, shocked, even sprayed in the face with powerful jets of water by workers at the Hallmark Meat Packing Company in Chino, California. Yeah. Okay, well, as you guys saw, um, this is how cows are constantly treated in slaughterhouses and in farm, um, factory farms all around America. And for those of you don't, who don't know what a factory farm is, they are large industrial operations um, that are run by meat producers, and they house thousands of animal, animals that are going to be used as food. Um, and most of these animals are mistreated there. Um, that's why today I want to describe to you some of the negative treatments that meat producers are using and using their um, products. I have been researching this topic for a few weeks now and I was very interested with um, some of the information that I've gotten and it's very surprising. Um, I'm sure that the majority of you guys eat meat and beef in your daily diets. However, most of you might not know how that cow was treated before it got slaughtered and sent to the grocery stores. Today I'll discuss about the <coughs> types of physical pain cattle is going through, the environment they are put in, and the types of food that they are given. I would like to start off by talking to you guys about the types of um, physical pain meat producers are having their workers perform on these cattle. Um, first, according to the Animals Rights Organization, once a cow or calf enters a factory farm, the workers the workers um, will mark them for identification. However, instead of marking them with a tag on their ear, like it's usually recommended since it's not painful, the workers are going to um, implant a hot iron iron into their flesh, which causes third degree, third degree, third degree burns. And this, these types of burns are actually going to burn multiple layers of their skin. In addition, the male calves will also get neutered and have their horns removed by workers but they won't put any type of anesthesia or pain relievers on them. So these animal, animals are going to be in lots of pain. The reason why meat producers are having the workers do these types of jobs instead of a vet is because, well, they don't want to spend all that money since they have thousands of cows in these big companies. Um, I mean, why have a vet come when you can just have your workers do it since you're already paying them? You don't have to waste extra money on that. Um, furthermore, cattle aren't only being mistreated right when they enter these farms. They're constantly being mistreated by workers, just like we, like we saw in the video. And meat you know, producers don't really seem to care about that. For example, um, workers hit them with types of um, objects like whips and sticks. They're getting kicked. Um, they actually shock them, and they spray them with water jets. The president of the Humane Society of the United States stated that the attempt is to make them so distressed and cause them so much suffering that these animals will get up and walk to the slaughterhouse. So basically, um, some of the reasons why they're hitting them is because, well, maybe they're injured or they're really sick, so they're trying to cause them pain so that they can go around and be harmed. All these types of physical treatments can lead to different types of infections and injuries, and due to a lack of veterinary care, most of these animals can end up dying. Well, now that you guys have a pretty good idea of the types of physical pain they're going through, let's look at the type of environment the producers are putting these creatures in that is making them to get sick in the first place. Many people expect cows to live in a big open space with lots of grass to eat and sunshine, just like it's advertised on television. But the truth is that this is not the lifestyle these animals have in factory farms. As a matter of fact, um, cows are living in a very small space with very little room to move because most of the, most of the time, the spaces are overcrowded. To give 
give you guys an example of how much space a cow needs. Um, a cow that weighs around 1,000 pounds needs, is required to live in an area that is 20 to 30 square feet, which is not what these new producers are providing for them. In addition, um, cattle is also ankle deep in their own manure. And because of this unclean environment, they are much more prone to different types of infections, which they can also be spread more easily because they're all standing on manure and it's going to be spreading from cow to cow. Overall, these cows are living in a very unhealthy environment, which can cause them to also become very sick and they can also die this way. However, cows are not only becoming sick because of their environment, they are also becoming sick because of what the producers are feeding them. Um, um, cows are designed to eat grass, but the truth is that they are given corn. Um, corn is actually a grain, it's not a vegetable like many of us might believe, and corn can be harmful to a cow's health and digestive system. So they're giving frequent doses of antibiotics just to keep them alive long enough until it's time for them to get slaughtered. Um, a documentary film called Food Inc. says that a cow's intake of corn instead of grass is actually one of the top reasons why cows get infected with strain E. coli, which is a dangerous bacterium that can lead to um, um, that can lead for them to become very ill and they can possibly die if it's not treated immediately. E. coli causes um, the cows to become ill, and because it's um, acid resistant meaning that the stomach acids in their four stomach is not going to um, kill the infection, they have a really high chance of dying. Many ask themselves, well, why feed them corn? Why not feed them grass if it's making them sick? Well, the truth is that corn is much cheaper than grass is, and it will actually make them fat much, much faster, and that's exactly what the producers want, because they're a big company and they want to make as much money as they possibly can. Um, these meat producers don't see these um, cows as um, living animals, they see them more as food products. So they have very little care and health. Well, now that I, I hope that you, had, you guys have a better idea of the types of physical pains that we're going through, the environment they're living in, and the incorrect food that they are given. These types of issues are constantly happening in food factories all around America. It's not something that's uncommon. And these cows are living short and very painful life because of it. Let's just hope that we producers realize the improper ways that they are raising their cattle so that they can try to make life a little more comfortable for them. Thank you. Can you give me the time, please? Thank you. And Chris, what did you think of Denise's presentation? Um, it was good. It was a really good insight. Uh, the video at first was pretty dramatic, but I like how you cut it short and just got straight to the point with it. Um, your main points were uh, you said them a couple of times, so I really understood what they were, like the pain that the the cows are getting the environment and the food. Um, the visuals, though, have a problem just because you didn't have many, um, you just all had that one video at first. Maybe for each one, you could have had it, like, um, showing what they're, like, feeding the corn or, or something like that. But uh, overall, it was really good inside. I learned a lot. All right. Um, I thought you did a nice introduction to the video clip, and then the clip went along. There was a long pause before you got back to speaking after the clip. That was a little bit awkward. Uh, the claim that this is constantly being done suggests that this is not really news. So why is it on the news if it's all if it happens all the time? It's a little strange and a little inconsistent. Uh, I think you state your goal pretty clearly. You're on the brink of a persuasive speech, and I think we talked about this a little bit. And when you get to the end of the presentation, it suggests also a kind of persuasive presentation rather than merely being